Well, we met almost 23 years ago mm -hmm. um, here in Juneau. Amy moved up from L.A. Yeah. California. Uh, yeah, and we met shortly thereafter, <laughs> like the first month. And uh, At a friend's house. Yeah, and we got together about two months later. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, so it's, it'll be 23 years in November. Amy Oliash and Fabian Peter Contess have spent most of their lives together in Alaska. However, it's against the state constitution for same-sex couples to marry. So the couple is going to Washington State this fall to say their vows. Yeah, even trying to make a simple wedding is... <laughs> not so simple. It's not so simple. <laughs> it's complicated. There's a lot of things to do. Um, I, I never understood that before because I've never been part of mm -hmm. planning a wedding. And it, it's, uh, it's like, well, let's just make it really simple. But in the end, you know, you want to celebrate with your family and friends mm -hmm. and you want it to be an event that's, you know, not a big to do, but a celebration. And, uh, and you we want things to be, you want things to be nice. Well, we had talked about getting married um, quite a few years ago <laughs> when Vermont, um, was it Vermont? The first, I don't the know, first, one yeah, of those Vermont. first states. But at that time, Amy asked me, and I was like, you know what, I don't really want to get married. It's just, it's kind of a heterosexual um, institution. It didn't mean a lot, and it, Vermont meant nothing, nothing to us, to us um, personally. Mm -hmm. And I just personally didn't really have any desire to fall into that traditional marriage because I felt like, you know, nothing's changed. Marriage isn't going to change who we are as a couple. Mm -hmm. um, and then as the country started changing and more and more states have, have recognized marriage equality, um, our, my feelings started changing in terms of this is important that we stand up and say you know this is who we are and and we're we've been together for 20 nearly 23 years and we should say this to the to the world to our community and then I grew up in Washington State so my family's all there um, and it, so it's, it was meaningful for for me personally and I think for Amy as well um, and to take that step and I think me being probably the more practical one, um, I think about as we age and how important it's going to be for us to, to have those, those rights of um, visitation when you're in the hospital or um, inheritance, you know, those sorts of practicalities, I guess, um, because we're, we're, we're saving towards our future, which is retirement. And then when we're in retirement, I want to ensure that, that we're uh, more secure, I guess, and seeing that heterosexual couples get a lot of those rights that, that we don't. Um, the and good she also loves me. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> without a doubt. Without a doubt. It's not all about practicality. No, it's not about all about practicality. <laughs> With the United States Supreme Court set to rule on two cases on same-sex marriage, Oliash and Peter Contest say attitudes finally seem to be changing. Yeah, it, it's an incredible time in our lives, not not one that I thought I would see. And, you know, it's, it's not like we're a foot in the grave here. Um, and it, it's because things have shifted in the country and probably the world so much, but, but in the United States so significantly, if you talk to people in their 20s and 30s, this is a no-brainer. Yeah, I, I think that... Um the Gen Ys are growing up in, in a completely different world. Um, when I look back at, you know, my, my first coming out many years ago, it was a very nervous time because, you know, are people really going to accept me? Um, what are my parents going to think? What's, what, you know, what are my family going to think? And, and today it's, it's, oh, okay, you know, it, people don't even skip a beat over it. So I, I think that a lot of the, um, uh, the gay and lesbians at, you know, around our age are, are really going to celebrate 
you know, hopefully when, when DOMA's um, overturned. And I think the younger generation is going to say, okay, what next? <laughs> you know, and, and, and maybe focus their energies on, on other good things to do.